Now, Vietnam has become known for its so-called export of brides. Our reporter Dong Ngo went to a village where many of their daughters have married foreign men. He went there to find out why and how many of these unions have changed the lives of the families these women left behind. A traditional fishing village by the South China Sea. The work is hard with uncertain returns. But that difficult life is now a thing of the past for Pham Thi Thon. She lives a life of prosperity by local standards. Her new house is filled with modern amenities. And this is what changed her family fortunes, the marriage of her daughter to a South Korean man 10 years ago. It not only enabled her daughter to move abroad for a better life economically, it also gave Miss Thon the opportunity to work in South Korea. Miss Tone worked at an agriculture company making a thousand US dollars a month, an income she couldn't even dream of in Vietnam. Miss Tone's situation is not unique. In her village in Dai Herb, Almost every family has at least one daughter married to a foreign husband. South Korea is the most popular destination for such marriages because of its good economic prospects and diplomatic relations. Many mothers in Dai Herb, like Miss Tone, then went on to work in South Korea following their daughter's marriages. The money they sent back improved life in the poverty-stricken village. I've been to many villages in Vietnam, but this one stands out for its obvious size of wealth. Here in the middle of the village, I can see many new large houses. Overseas Vietnamese brides from here have helped build many of these houses and transformed the place. The trend of Vietnamese women marrying men overseas started some 20 years ago. According to official figures, there were about 300,000 of these Vietnamese brides between 2008 and 2010. The research shows that the rate of But not all of these marriages have a happy outcome. There have been reports of Vietnamese brides becoming the victims of domestic violence, human trafficking, and even murder. Most of the Vietnamese brides' marriages are arranged by local brokers who operate illegally in Vietnam. This South Korean language class hopes to help these Vietnamese brides better communicate with their husbands. The women also need a basic knowledge of the language to obtain visas to join their husbands in South Korea. Vì không muốn cho mình rồi là thế hệ sau mình nữa có cuộc sống tốt đẹp hơn. Cho nên là mình có thể hy sinh một chút bản thân để lấy chồng xa. <cười> cái mà mình lo lắng nhất đấy là cái văn hóa. Ấy. Vì văn hóa Việt Nam với văn hóa của Hàn Quốc thì cũng có sự khác nhau ấy ạ. Back in Đại Hợp. New houses are under construction as foreign marriages continue to transform the village. And more girls are likely to follow in the footsteps of their village sisters to seek a better life abroad for themselves and their families. Tung Ngo, Channel News Asia, in Dai Hợp, Hai Phong.